In this case, here's a typical MSO network, and we've got either a CWDM or DWDM system running multiple channels from the head end or hub. Now we've got a trouble ticket that says a customer note is down, so we're anticipating a fiber cut. First, we'll double check another node after the WDM DMUX point. If services are still running at this node, then we can assume there's a fiber break between the downed customer node and the DMUX point upstream. So the first bit of info we'll need is the length of the span between the DMUX and node A. In this case, it's 5.8 kilometers. We'll then roll the truck to node A and do a preliminary power check at the RX. Using the OX1's power checker function, we will see that there is no power or light at the node. Since there is no light which confirms our cut fiber theory, we'll then need to locate the cut. With the OX1 already connected to the node, we can switch over to Fault Explorer mode and run a 5 second test to determine the length to the cut. At this point, the restoration team can be deployed based on this optical length, as well as SSP geolocation of the fiber plant. Once the fiber cut is repaired, you'll need to confirm that the restored power level is present and in line with RX power requirements. Using the OX1 again in power checker mode will confirm this for you. The final step is to confirm there are no other issues on the span. This is done with the OX1 utilizing the filtered 1650 wavelength to shoot the span in Fault Explorer mode. This is done while the span is live to confirm the span's been restored to the proper specs before the cut. The 1650 wavelength doesn't interfere with traffic, which makes it possible to shoot into the span beyond the DMUX without affecting live traffic on other wavelengths. You can now close the ticket and move on to the next job.